Look, shoot a gang, go pull up. Hit him, told bro, don't stop, go get him. I be round round with the god, no chingin'. Know your chain get snatched if you blingin'. You know you ain't shootin', got a gun, why you bring it? I know niggas that'll kill for a living. Better keep quiet, you ain't down for the drilling. <laughs> Drive it up. Yes. <clears throat> testing, testing. Mr. Long in the building. Mm -hmm. Mr. Long in the building. About to bring y'all another new tutorial. New tutorial. Mm hmm. Nah, it was good with y'all, man. I don't even know what side I want to pick. Let's pick it right today. A salon got y'all with a clinch tutorial. Bro. I'm gonna teach y'all all about the clinch. What's the word? I don't sugarcoat nothing. I ain't about to sit here and cap like, yeah, I know this. I know that. I'm a beast. I'm the best. Mr. Long is great, but he's not the best. You know what I mean? Long family, that's what we do over here. But yeah, enough of the babble. Let me pick somebody that's good in the clinch. Who is good in the clinch again? Oh, DC, baby. DC? DC. DC is definitely ready for us, man. DC is it. I'm telling you, man. Mitch, look at me. DC. Mr. Cormier. He is amazing in the clinch. And we gonna beat up John Jones. He like talking too much shit. Oh, hell no. He moving around? Hell no. Nah. Let's fix that. That more better be a nerd. All right, so first things first, to initiate the clinch, hold right bumper and press the jab button. DC is an orthodox fighter, so his jab is X. Bam, if you're on PlayStation, you hold R1 and press square. Pretty simple. You can move niggas around in the clinch, push them, push them, all this shit. Mm -hmm. Bring your ass over here, push them against the cage, and you can back up to let go. If you're in southpaw, it's reversed. You hold the right bumper and you press Y. Y'all should know that by now. All right, so we're gonna get into, into the clinch. The starting position is single collar. From single collar, you can do a series of things. You can throw strikes by pressing either X or Y. That's gonna throw an uppercut. If you hold LB while pressing X or Y, it's gonna throw a hook. And if you hold LB while pressing the uppercut button, which is A and X at the same time, or B and Y at the same time, it's gonna throw elbows. Now, if you press either one of the kick buttons, it's gonna throw a knee to the head, which automatically puts you in the Muay Thai clinch. Does a lot of damage. Of course, you got your body modifiers. If you hold LT, it's gonna throw, and press X or Y, it's gonna throw an uppercut to the body. If you hold LB while holding LT and press either one of the punch buttons, it's gonna throw body hooks. And if you hold LT and press either one of the kick buttons, he's gonna throw body knees. Which also automatically puts you in the Muay Thai clinch. To let go, you just pull away from your opponent with the left stick. Now let's get back into the clinch. Now, you can also go for takedowns in the clinch. Hold the LT, hold the straight button, LT, hold Y. You can also go for the double leg high by holding LT, LB, and holding Y. Now, this is why I say um, your stance matters a lot. Because when you're in the clinch, notice how he's in orthodox right now. His left leg is forward. That means he's in orthodox. The lead leg button is A. And the back leg button is B. Keep that in mind. When you're in the clinch, pressing RB and the lead leg button is gonna go for a judo throw. Pressing RB and the back leg button, which is B, is gonna go for a trip. Now, if you press RB and either one of the, sh the punch buttons, X or Y, it's gonna put you in this position right here. I don't know what this is called, but I do know you can throw knees from here and they do a lot of damage. I think you can also go for a take now from here too. Yeah, double leg. I was alone about to talk about that cage work. So now you're in the clinch, you could push somebody up against the cage. You know we had to pick Khabib to show off that cage work. This man is dominant when it comes to 
just dominating his opponents against the cage, you feel me? So, we had to show the GOAT, greatest fucking fighter of all time, Khabib Nurmagomedov. So, and you going for a takedown near the cage, a lot of the times it'll put you like this. Or if you grab the clinch and back them up against the cage, you can get them like this, you feel me? Now, when you have somebody against the cage, the controls is pretty much the same as, as just a regular clinch. You could do the same things. Hold on, let me try to get him against the cage on the other side. We're gonna switch to southpaw so y'all can really see what we're doing against the cage. But don't don't worry, it's still the same no matter what. So you could throw your strikes against the cage. That's press X or Y to throw uppercuts. You could throw press LB and with X or Y you'll throw hooks. If you hold LB and press one of the uppercut buttons, elbows, still the same shit. Hold press A, you'll throw knees to the leg. Hold LB and press A or B. You'll throw knees to the head, and if you hold LT with it, you'll throw them to the body. Simple. You could throw your body punches, you know, regular. Now, to go for a takedown from here, you can either hold LT and hold Y, or whatever. It's still the same takedown button. Or hold LT and hold X. It don't matter. It's the same thing. You're going to go for the double leg or the single leg. And you also have your judo throws. If you hold the right bumper and press either A or B, boom. I'm pretty sure that's called a judo throw. Correct me if I'm wrong. You can throw him the other way. Same thing. All right, now this is where the stance is gonna actually matter again. When you are in this position right here, you can move towards your opponent's back with the left stick. So right here, I'm gonna move the left stick up I'm gonna have behind back. This is a whole nother position right here. Behind back position. You can do a series of things from behind back. If you press any one of the strike buttons, you'll throw a, a knee to the leg. Since your hands are wrapped, you can't throw any punches. If you hold LB and press either X or Y, you're gonna throw a punch, but you're immediately gonna let go of this position. So I wouldn't really recommend doing that unless you really wanna get out of that position. Go back in. LBA. Knee. He lets go of the position. Now, from this position, you can also go for your takedowns. You go for that double leg. You can go for your single leg. You cannot go for any double leg or single leg high. But you can do a trip to the ground or you can do a body slam. Now, this is why I said the position, that stance that you're in matters. Right now, Khabib is in orthodox. His lead leg is his left leg. So what did I tell ya is the lead leg button. A, right? RBA, body slam. Now the back leg button is B. If you wanna do a trip, RBB. Now one last cool thing you could do from behind back is you can jump on your opponent's back and this will be called the backpack position. If you hold RB and press either X or Y, you're gonna jump on your opponent's back like so. This is backpack. From here, you can do a series of things. If you press either any one of the kick buttons, A or B, you're gonna pull him down and you're gonna be in back sitting. If you press either X or Y, you're gonna put him in an automatic rear naked choke and you can strangle your opponent to death from here. Alright, last sex position I got, I mean, last clinch position I got for y'all is over under. So, to get over under, it's not how you do it in UFC 2 or UFC 3. To get over under, you have to go for a double leg takedown and then cancel it. I'm going to show y'all right here. Double leg, cancel. Now, to go for a double leg, y'all know, y'all hold left trigger or L2 if you're on PlayStation, and hold the straight button, no matter what stance you're in. So you go for it, and once you're, you're, you grab your opponent, let go of everything, and then hold the right trigger, or R2. So boom, let go of everything. Oh, let's do that again, we're too close to the cage. Go for it, let go of everything, hold RT. Boom, that's over under right here. I'm gonna show you one more time. Cancel, RT. Now, there's a series of things that you can do from this position.
keep in mind, once again, the stance matters. So first thing you can do is you can press X or Y to throw a punch. It's gonna break free because your both of your arms are wrapped. If you press either A or or B, one of the kick buttons, you're gonna throw a body knee. It releases it once again. That's pretty much all the strikes you can throw from over or under. Now to go for a takedown, remember stance matters. So we're in orthodox right now. So I'm gonna hold RB and press the lead leg button, which is A, body slam. Same as same as behind back, same as the other positions. I press RB in the back leg button, which is B, let's go for a trip. Another really cool thing that you can do with over under is you can pull guard. So if you hold RB and press the jab button, which is X, pulls guard. Now a lot of y'all might be wondering what's the point of this position right here or doing that. It's really good if you have somebody that's good off their back. So I have Tony Ferguson, he's really good off his back. Nate Diaz, um, Brian Ortega, a couple other people. I think DC is pretty good off his back too. They have a lot of submissions. Look at Tony Ferguson's submissions. That's four goddamn submissions. And a fifth one, you got the Kimura. Oh my, Plata, Guillotine, Triangle Truck. Like, this is beautiful right here. If you hold RB and press Y, you can pull top mount. So RB straight button, pose guard, flips him over into top mount. Dominant ass position. You can end the fucking fight in here in seconds. <clears throat> Boy, talking all that shit. Now I'm gonna show you the last thing you can do from over under. If you hold LT and then press the jab button, you flip him around and throw him to the ground. And if you hold LT and press the straight button, do the same thing all right you guys that's pretty much it for the clinch tutorial i know it was a lot it might have been very hard to keep up with what i was saying but i hope y'all did mr long tried to explain it as best that he could to his long family members you know i gotta get y'all good at this i'm not a beast in the clinch but i'm pretty good i could hold my own you know what i'm saying y'all saw in the last video i went for for a grappling baptizing bums win and i pulled it off in my first try why because i know the fundamentals it's not that difficult to grasp but to become a lead at this it's not going to happen overnight you gotta keep practicing man get in the gym keep working on your craft man like ai said man nah not like ai said he ain't go to practice the fuck am i talking about well yeah man keep practicing y'all and always remember wait for it stay long